Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be filming my explanation of what happened to Bryn, um, if you couldn't already tell by the title. Um, so if we kind of start at the beginning, on Saturday the 9th Bryn went and he did a novice dressage test. He was a very good boy, he scored 66% plus um, and was just an angel. Um, on Sunday he got loose schooled. Um, he came out, he was a tiny, tiny bit stiff, which isn't unusual for Britain due to a previous injury. Um, and, yeah. Um, so he came out a little bit stiff, started working, um, and he was fine. There was, like, literally nothing there. Um, the vet's coming on Monday to do, um, the youngsters flu jabs with all this equine influenza going around right now. Um. They're both like starting to get a bit older, like Milo's going to be free this year, so end of this year, next year he's going to start going out a little bit um, to different places and I want to show Finn, so he's also going to be out and about a little bit. Um, so we just wanted to get that done and while the vet was there he was going to check Bryn's breathing because he's always had problems with his breathing but it seemed to have got like a little bit worse. Um, like in the week or so before the vet came um so that's basically what happened on the monday morning um my mum went to lunch britain i was obviously at school um i was wearing archie when i came home and i didn't have time to ride britain um so she was gonna lunch him for me um so she went and like went to took him out to lunch him in the morning before the vet came and he was like crippled lame like on three legs um so obviously that wasn't great i had no idea i was completely oblivious i was in school um so the vet came and then when i got home she was like brin's lame and i was like great and she was like the vet thinks it's a tendon at that point i was like gone i was like crying i was like this isn't happening like anyone that knows me will know i think the absolute world of brin i think he's incredible um, he's just the most loving, honest, like, fantastic, trying little pony ever. He's the one I always, I know it's bad to have favourites, but I always go straight up to him on the yard. Um, can never stay cross with him even when he's naughty. Um, he's just absolutely perfect in my eyes. I love him so much. Um, so, like, getting told that, was, that he had a tendon injury was, like, that was it, I was gone, I couldn't like comprehend that this pony was like fine on, on like literally the day before and now he had a tendon injury, um, it just didn't really make sense in my head, I couldn't really believe it was happening, um, but my mum was like, um, yeah the vet said it's a tendon injury, I respect their opinion, but I personally don't think it's a tendon injury and my mum is like very knowledgeable in regards to horses, She's had a lot, a lot, a lot of experience and um, yeah, so that was kind of slightly reassuring. Um, so she went to her own osteopath on Tuesday um, to get her back done, my mum, and um, she was speaking to her about it and the osteopath was like, if you don't think it's a tendon, it's probably not a tendon, get the farrier. So we had the farrier on Wednesday, I think. And he came, he took the shoe off of the really bad foot um, that they believe was the leg like, he'd done the tendon in on. Um, he was like, it's either like an abscess or laminitis, so poultice it for three days. Um, see if anything comes out, if anything comes out, fantastic. Also treat him like for laminitis, so immediately he went on to soak tay, um, top chop zero, um, got taken off all other food, no treats, no nothing. Um, so yeah, that was the Wednesday. Then on Thursday, again, I was in school, completely oblivious. Um, my mum had to have the vet out again. Um, and um, she was like, yeah, this is definitely laminitis. Um, Bryn had got into so, so, so much pain. Um, he literally couldn't move. We were having to take his food to him. He would not come for his food. 
and brings a very food orientated pony. Um, he stands and screams when he's hungry. Um, he'll like be the first one to be like, I want to come in um, and stuff. Uh, so it was just not Bryn. Um, and it just kind of shows how much pain he was in. And she was like, yeah, this is definitely laminitis. Um, she was like, he must be in so, so, so much pain. He's so brave. And I was like, oh, he's so cute. But um, yeah, she was like, he must have been in so much pain. And um, like, this is one of the weirdest cases ever because it literally came on overnight. Um, and um, yeah, that was like um, her verdict. Um, so then fast forward to this week, which is when you're watching this, it's obviously not going to be this week, but going forward to the week of Monday the 8th, starting Monday the 18th, um, he had made like stat loads of progress, um, he's doing really really well, he's much more comfortable. The farrier um, came out on the um, 19th and fitted him with the cutest little aluminium um, heart bar shoes. Um, I'll put a photo in now. Um, but yeah, they're so cute and hopefully they'll make him even more comfortable. Um, the farrier did say he didn't think I would be back on him until summer, which is a very long time, like we're talking June, July. Um, so that's blown absolutely everything out the window. I really wanted to take him to Sheepgate in August, um, qualify for Quest Regionals again, um, Native Pony, all that sort of thing, but not going to happen now, um, which is just the way thing go things go. Everything happens for a reason. Um, hopefully he'll come back bigger and better. Um, but yeah, basically not until summer. So chances are I'll actually be riding Milo before I ride Bryn, um, which is really odd to think about because that's not quite how I have this year planned. Um, but obviously we need to be guided by Bryn if he is ready before summer and he's completely ready and the farrier is like, yeah, this is fine. Um, then we'll start rehabbing him then. If he it's like in, way into winter, like December, and he's then like, oh yeah, he's fine now, then um, we'll start rehabbing then. We really need to listen to Bryn now. It's kind of up to him um, and like his body to sort itself out. He is still on Danilon um, at the moment, um, but he's coping really well. Um, like I said, he's so much more comfortable, um, much, much happier. We had a bit of a problem with him trying to, like, trying to get him to eat the food with the Danilon in, um, but we put in the supplement mint, which is like, like literally mint there's no other rubbish in it um so that's not gonna like make him put on any weight or anything um and yeah he had that and that made him eat it um so he's still been having his meds um we weighed him like when we were first told it was like laminitis we weighed him and he was 378 um and we weighed him like the start of this week and he was 366 so we are heading in the right direction. I know weigh tapes aren't completely reliable, but it, we can still gauge whether he's going up or down in weight. Um, but yeah, um, and you can kind of tell looking at him that he has lost a bit of weight. He just looks a bit slimmer. Um, but obviously with him doing nothing, I'm not expecting him to lose stack loads of weight. Um, but hopefully his management of his food will help. Um, so going forwards, um, he's wearing the Arc Equine every day, um, twice a day um, when we can, um, which is most days. He's in at the moment, he's been in for a week now, just over a week. Um, he will probably stay in until the end of this week, um, which is Sunday the 24th. Um, then we are hoping to put him back out in our sand turnout, although we just need to put some more fresh sand in there um, because it's got a bit boggy and stuff and then kind of roll it so that it's nice and flat um, because that will cushion his foot a bit more for him. Um, so that's that. Um, rehab wise, I think I'm going to do a lot of like um, in-hand walking as per what Arc Equine tell us to do. Um, because they're in charge of like his program that he's on so we'll see what they say um, but that is pretty much a 
as fast as I can um, like rundown of what is wrong with him. Um, I'm hoping now moving forwards um, that obviously things will progress and he will get better. The vet said there's no reason why he shouldn't make a full recovery although she did say she thinks there is a slight rotation in the one foot so obviously that is going to keep him out a little bit longer. Um, but we'll just have to see how he is and let him kind of guide us like I said. Um, I'm hoping as well to film like updates for you guys on how he's doing and like share our rehab process. Um, so yeah, let me know if you want like monthly, every two months. I don't think I'd be um, or will powered enough to do weekly, um, but monthly or every two months or something. Um, then just let me know in the comments. Also let me know if you know of any um, like laminitic products um, that are safe for laminitics and stuff. Um, that sort of thing. I've been looking into quite a lot myself and I found some um, but obviously they need a bit more investigation and until everything's under control he's not going to be having anything really apart from some sugar free polos um, like one at a time like um, or carrots because in 100 grams of carrots there's like 4 grams of sugar so they're not very high in sugar um, but we're trying to keep all that sort of thing to a minimum um, he's literally only getting his hay and his feed he's getting nothing in between um, but hopefully I'll be able to share it with you guys um, anything I find that's been really useful for him um, and that sort of thing and obviously let you know how we get on um, if you follow me on Instagram, Catherine Kirby Dressage or at Dress for Dressage, um, which I'll leave here, um, or my Facebook page, Catherine Kirby Equestrian, or if you have me on Snapchat, I'm sure there'll be lots of updates on how he is um, and moving forward and stuff as well as on here. Um, so it's just me and Archie for the moment, um, but hopefully Brim will be back and joining us soon and. We'll also have Milo to ride, which is really, really exciting. Um, but hopefully I can focus lots of time and effort into Archie now and really um, like establishing my partnership with him. Um, like everything happens for a reason. Um, like hopefully he'll come back better. Um, but yeah, all we can hope for is that he's happy and he's safe and he comes sound and that's like enough for me um, but yeah the vet has said she thinks they'll make a complete full recovery which is amazing um, and yeah I'm so 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 thankful um, that it was definitely laminitis and not the tendon um, and yeah I'm just so happy for the little guy as well obviously this has been very painful for him but at least it can kind of be kept under control a bit more and managed than the tendon um, which would just take its own time to heal and stuff um, but yeah um, I hope this clears up your questions um, thank you so much to everyone that sent me messages of support and apologies if at any point I was blunt or you thought I was rude um, I was just I had a lot and I didn't really want to talk about it um, especially when I thought it was a tendon because that was just like the end of everything for me um, but yeah um, so I hope that clears everything up um, again thank you for your support I keep repeating myself now well done <laughs> um, but yeah thank you so much um, make sure to like, comment and subscribe and stay tuned for my updates